What's up everybody, I'm David Wiggins and today we're going to do an in the bag. Um, to start out, I'll show you all my bag. It's a Heiserbaum Flak. It's a great bag, pretty new to the market, has plenty of room and storage for me when I'm playing tournaments or just out here practicing. Um, and I got a new addition to the bag, it's a touch. It's a towel and a pouch, pretty much you can put your disc in it, clean it off and not worry about getting your hands all dirty or anything. Um, it's a great addition to any bag. Um, really helps keep your hands clean and everything while playing. So I'll get into the discs. Um, I'll start out with drivers. One of my favorite all-around discs um, for driving off the tee pad is a T-Bird. I use it for you know straight shots, um, occasional turnovers. It's a uh, it's a great disc to throw. It works in the wind or calm conditions. Um, then a step up from the T-Bird, a little more overstable would be my Eagle. Um, I use this, you know, maybe a little bit more windy shots, maybe into a headwind. And I also use it for shorter thumber shots and occasional rollers. Next we have uh, Firebirds, one of my favorite discs. It's so versatile, you can throw it in any type of conditions and you know it's always going to come back for you. I got one a little more broken in and one of the uh, new super flat overstable ones that whew, they're hard to throw far that's for sure <laughs> i can throw this thing and it's always going to come back like a meat hook every time um next uh is a leopard it's a great disc this one's one of the old ce uh leopards for all you disc golf collectors out there um, i love them in my opinion there's nothing like the old ce leopards this one's really broken in as you can tell but it still has plenty of life left in it and um, I go to it for rollers and real turnover shots that I need some glide on. Um, now we're getting into the uh, distance drivers. There's a few I really like. Uh, one of them is the PD2. Um, this one I can always trust to come back and still go far. It's pretty tough to find a uh, driver for me that I can really crank out there and still have it come back at the end, but this is one of them. And uh, I got to give a shout out to my boy Richard in Sweden for giving me this one. He brought it back home from the European Open. So uh, thank you, Richard. Um, another disc is the uh, Excalibur. And this is one of the first run Eco Excaliburs. It's probably one of my favorite distance drivers out there just because it's so straight for being such a high speed disc. And this is my last one, unfortunately. I got it from Brian Schweberger, so I got to give a shout out to him too. Um, yeah, I got to find a replacement for those guys. That's going to be tough. And last but not least of my distance drivers is the Blizzard Boss. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if I carry one of these or not because, you know, obviously they go far, but can you use them on the course? And of course you can. They're great for, uh, I use them for sidearms just because I don't have, I have a sidearm, but it's not the most powerful sidearm, so it helps add distance to my sidearm as well as control because I really don't have to throw it as hard. And of course, I use it for distance shots. You know, if I'll have a tailwind or even no wind and I can't really take a big run up, I'll go to it for maximum distance drives. All right, now we'll get into the mid rangers. Um, probably the most popular disc of all time, the Rock. And this one's kind of special because it's really old. I've had it in my bag for a long time. It's the old end of a bar stamp rock. It's fairly broken in, so, you know, it's good for turnover shots and stuff like that. It's, shoot, I'm probably only about four or five years older than this disc. <laughs> Next disc, which I think is one of the most underrated discs, is the QMS. It's, uh, it's by Millennium, and it's a really great um, mid-range disc for shots that you have a lot of glide and a slow turn, it's different from the rock and the fact that you, you can still get that low speed glide that you can't out of most other mid-rangers. Um, I got a couple more rocks in here. Um, this one's a Champion San Marino rock. I like it for straighter shots. It's, it's broken in for a Champion rock, so it finally flies straight. That took a couple years of abuse, but it's finally flying how I like it too. And the nice thing about it being champion is it doesn't break in as much as the DX rock I have. Um, I'll probably start throwing rock threes here in a little bit once I lose that guy, but until then, here's another champion rock, and this one's a lot more overstable. I use it for, you know, hyzers, maybe up to 300, 400 feet or so. 
It's a mid-ranger that I like to use in the wind as well as um, just hyzer shots. And next, I'll get into the putters. And my favorite disc of all time is the AVR. I use it probably more than any other disc on an average course. Doesn't matter if it's long or short. I'm throwing it up on shots up to around 400 feet or so. This one's special because it's a CE AVR. And uh, like the CE Leopard, it's hard to find another disc that flies just like it, being in that old CE plastic. It's, uh, it's really, really straight and you can put any line you want on it and it'll hold it. Um, next putter I got in here is fairly new. I'm still kind of testing it out. It's the Panzer by Heiserbaum. It's similar to a Pig. It's a little bit um, lower profile and it has a really good feel to it. it uh, it's definitely a contender that I think is gonna stay in the bag for a little while. And next is a Champion Rhino. This is, uh, this is probably my second favorite putter out there. It's uh, one of the older CE gummy plastic ones. Um, just has a good feel in my hand and it, it's pretty overstable for a putter so I can throw it for hyzer shots that are shorter or even in the wind for putter shots that I wanna crank out there. And I got a few more AVRs. I carry probably more putters in my bag than any other uh, <laughs> any other type of mid-ranger or driver. Um, the KC AVR, it's great all around driving putter or putting. I, I switch up to these putting in the summer just when it gets a little bit hotter out. Um, my JKs get a little bit too soft, so um, it's another staple in my bag. And my favorite driving putters in um, shorter range shots, like this course, Johnson Street, would have to be the JK Pro AVR. Um, they're a little bit softer and I feel like I can get a good grip on it and really control how the disc flies. A lot of people, you know, they, they dog on me for using a, <laughs> a girl's putter, or so they call a girl's putter, but um, no, they're, they're a great disc all around and um, I really like throwing them. I got another KC AVR. It's uh, a little bit newer. It really is for uh, straighter, longer range um, putters that I use. And I got another JK AVR in here. It's, um, it's slightly flippy, so I'll use it on various shots to 200 to 300 feet in the woods or in the open, just upshotting and approaching. Got my 70th ace with this disc a couple months ago, so that was pretty cool. And last but not least are the putters that I have designated to use for putting. I really don't like putting with discs that I throw just so that I don't beat them up. But these are two uh, JK AVRs, and I really like that neon yellow color, so I try and putt with these, as, or find as many of these as I can to use for putting, just because they're easy to see and it's kind of cool. <laughs> and that's about it. That's the bag. Um, I got a couple other things, you know, got to carry a mini and a clipboard, but yeah, that's about it.